about how to assure your memorization. I'm sure many of the students, they have a fear of having memory slips. And they try many different ways to make sure they memorize, but sometimes you happen to have a memory slip and you get very embarrassed. So I'm trying to introduce the most secure way, the most reliable way to assure your memorization, which is a shadow practice. So before you try shadow practice, there are several procedures that you must take. So when you start learning the piece, I recommend you to divide the music into sections. So I would recommend about four to five sections on each page and you practice by section. So you practice section A until you fully memorize it and then move on to section B. You practice multiple times to make sure you're able to play by memory but at a steady tempo. After you practice each section, I want you to take some time to analyze each section. So you're able to picturize each section and analyze the beginning of section. At least you know which chord you start with. For example, section A starts with D minor. Section B starts with E major. So you don't always start from the beginning of the piece, but start from any section. You must feel comfortable starting from any section. So for example, there are four sections on each page, A, B, C, D. You have to feel comfortable starting from section B, section D, section C. So I divide this page into four sections, section A, B, C, D. Analyze the beginning of each section. The name of the chord, D minor, section B starts with A major. Section C starts from the C major chord. Section D starts from E major chord. You must be able to name the chord of each section and should be able to visualize the beginning of each section when you are performing by memory. So visualizing the score, at least know the name of the chord in the beginning and visualize the keys at the same time. So now we'll try shadow practice. So basically, you're just touching the keys, but not really pressing down. So you're not producing any sound, but by visualizing the keys. So like this. All right. So you're not relying on sound, but by visualizing the keys. So you have to feel very comfortable knowing the name of each chord. So you know where your hand goes, right? You try that by shadow practice. If there's any section that you feel stuck, you don't know where your hand goes, this is the section where you can have memory slip from when you're performing. So in that case, you have to get back to the section and then try to spend more time practicing. So you do spend more time analyzing, you do spend more time visualizing that section and you can spend more time doing muscle practice. You do your best to feel comfortable. Play the whole piece, every section by shadow practice. So shadow practice is the most secure and reliable way to assure your memorization. Remember that playing by ear and muscle practice, muscle memorization are not always reliable. Please assure your memorization by doing shadow practice. Again, like this, you're just touching the keys, but not pressing down. You're not producing any sound, but by visualizing, right? But when you are visualizing the keys, make sure you're able to visualize the score in your head. Because once you start memorizing, students stop looking at the music. They're not able to visualize the score because they stop looking at the score. So even if you already start memorizing it, you're still able to spend time studying and visualizing the score, right? So this is something that you can do away from the keyboard, right? You just keep reading and studying the score. So when you are doing by shadow practice, you still able to visualize the score 
in your head. So you have to be able to reconcile between visualization and shadow practice to assure your memorization. If you like the video, subscribe to my channel. It costs zero dollar, but it will help me a lot. If you have any questions or requests, please let me know in the comments.